Now, this one is going to sound like a strange one, but it's... Okay. Food in gaming. I know, it sounds weird, but bear with it. But I was just recently playing Nino Kuni, and I... I noticed this, how it always happens in RPGs, mostly RPGs, actually other ones, but first off, let's say you're playing as Oliver and you notice Swain's health is dropping. You have no MP, so you you whip in your provisions bag and you find a cheeseburger, which is somehow perfectly intact, uh, let's ignore that, and you throw it to him, and he eats it and the two foot gashes across his chest from being cut up by little cute creatures that are probably like two inches deep imme he immediately eats the thing and those wounds heal like oh god oh, I feel so much better and it just this is so common in games it just seems really ridiculous to me how can you eat a freaking burger in, in combat I'm curious to how you can pull that off while you're having a little like something trying to rip your face off and you're trying to eat a burger. It's like, leave me alone, I'm trying to eat this burger to heal my my wounds. I mean, in Final Fantasy's case, there are potions, but that implies alchemy where yeah, you drink it and bam, your your wounds are closed up. I guess you could make that make <laughs> it just makes more sense, I guess, because it's science fiction slash fantasy. Or maybe if it's something like a stem pack and it closes up your wounds when you when you put it in your bloodstream. But it just seems really ridiculous. You see it so much, like in like in Dark Cloud, you're you're running around and you have like stale bread that you had from the very first floor and if you tried to sink your teeth in that thing, you you're bound to lose a tooth. Unless you fucking vacuum sealed the damn thing. But it just seems really funny. And it never looks like they're eating something. It looks like a holy light comes from the sky or or just swoops up from your feet to your face or something like that. It just seems really lazy. Why does it have to be food? Couldn't it be something else? Uh, like, they can't come up with something other than potions and band-aids? Like, I don't know. Maybe it just seems... It's just a really silly thing to me. And, uh... It even happens in Bioshock. Or like, say, in your middle of a gunfight and you're... And you're like, oh shit, my health's low. You start searching in trash cans and you find a fucking cake and... Oh, oh that, that was great. That, that kept me from dying. It's like... <laughs> so you just scarf down a freaking cake while you've been shot at? Because it would help your wounds heal? Yeah. Oh, by the way, back then, you know, Cooney, isn't it kind of funny how... He's like a 12-year-old kid and he's drinking coffee? Isn't that going to stunt his growth? I mean, yeah, he's trying to save the world. I think the last thing he's worried about is stunting his growth, but it just seems... I don't know, that does seem funny. In... Probably most people might not know what I'm talking about. In Lagaya 2, do you know what Lagaya 2 is? It's a PS2 game where you can... Uh, where it's, again, it's an RPG. But in this, how food is used, it's basically used like a buff. Let's say... Uh, you find a campsite, you got your party camps there. I kind of miss this in games, you don't see it too often. I think I'm ever seeing it in Breath of Fire 4. But yeah, you basically roll up camp and you are you can talk to your NPCs and and you, you can also get them to cook something. I remember the first thing you cook is like curry or something. It increases attack and all that. And the buff is temporary, I don't know, I don't remember how long it lasts. It's been a while since I played that game. I don't know if I want to let's play that game because I remember being incredibly difficult, even if you follow a walkthrough through and through. <laughs> but anyway, that basically that is a more clever way of using uh, using food, which sounds weird, as a a, a, a mechanic in uh, games. And it just it just seems like a lazy thing if they don't want to use potions or stem packs. That's that's how it where you, you eat food to heal your wounds, or drink a soda pop, and that will somehow the nutritional nutritional value in a soda pop will heal you up. I doubt it, <laughs> but it just seems it just seems like a pet peeve to me. It, is, it doesn't it doesn't really piss me off. I, I will accept it. I will accept that eating a burger will heal your wounds. I I know it's just a transparent method of healing yourself 
It doesn't matter what the item is to me. It just... Well, yeah, it does, but it just... It won't ruin the game for me. I just wish they could have taken a more sensible approach to using something else other than eating a... Eating a friggin' burger or... Fucking chuffing down coffee at... Wait. If he, how does he drink a coffee immediately in combat? God, that must burn his esophagus if it's still warm like he has in a thermos. But I think I'm shoving too much reality into these games. Maybe that's just me. It just seems funny. I, th that's what I do. I make I make real-life references to games, and it, it lets you know that I'm in touch with reality when I'm playing a game. I don't get too immersed. I do, but that's me. I like to have fun with it. But that's all I guess I had to say about that. I mean, maybe a developer's listening and they're probably thinking, ooh, maybe we should have some sort of camp out mechanic with food buffs. And that sounds that sounds like it's old fashioned. We could do that. But that, that's all I have to say. Thanks BTS Productions for sponsoring this and I'm out.